Hey there internet, Adam Dutcher here again with uh, another episode of Two Minute Troubleshooting. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be addressing one of the most common reasons for people to call into our tech helpline and also one of the easiest ones to address and also to fix, the flashing red light. The red flashing light happens because the incoming signal to the booster is too strong. Well, how much is too strong? Before we get into that, we have to figure out an accurate way to measure the DBM strength of the outside signal in an area that you plan on putting the outside antenna. There are three ways that you can actually test the DBM strength in the area where you think you'd like to place the external antenna. And I'm actually going to go in order from the least effective to the most effective way of doing that. The first way is by utilizing your phone. And by using your phone, I'm not talking about checking your bars. Put your phone into test mode to check the DBM strength that your phone is receiving. Another way is through a mobile app. Uh, one of the ones that we have used is for the Android phone and it's called Network Signal Info. The problem with these first two ways of checking your DBM strength is that they only work for your device and for your carrier. The third way is by using a tool called an RF Signal Meter. These meters can read signal strength for every frequency range or block on the RF spectrum. The DBM strength that you're looking for when you're looking to find out where to place your outside antenna is anywhere between negative 90 and negative 70 dB. If you do find that the red lights are flashing on your booster, there's a couple of ways that you can fix that. The first one is by changing the location of your outside antenna. Let's say, for instance, that this is the area that you live in and all of these red pins are the cell towers in the area. Now you live here. Now as you can see there are lots of carrier towers in the area but which one is for your specific carrier? You can go to cellreception.com to find out which towers in the area support your carrier's network. Once you find out that information you can decide which antenna is best for the outdoor donor antenna. Let's say for instance that your carrier's tower is here. Now that's a pretty close tower to the building or to the house. It's quite possible that there will be too much signal going into the booster and it will result in the red lights flashing which signifies that the booster is overpowering and will shut off. Now if you have a Yagi directional antenna it would make sense to try to point that antenna to this tower. However, pointing that high gain antenna right toward the tower will overpower the system. There are some ways to get around this. The first thing you might try to do if you are getting the red flashing lights on your booster is try to change the direction of the Yagi antenna. By pointing the directional antenna away from the cell phone tower, it's quite possible that you will reduce the amount of signal coming into the booster and that will get rid of the red flashing lights. Cell phone towers usually have a large radiation pattern, so it's possible that you need an omnidirectional antenna for your donor instead of the Yagi directional. The omnidirectional antenna is only 3 to 4 dB of gain, so it's a lower gain antenna. This may help with the amount of signal getting into the booster. Another way that you can make this red flashing light go away is by purchasing an inline attenuator. And this will actually connect from the outside port of the booster into the cable that goes to the antenna. And what it does is it keeps the signal from getting too strong going into the booster. It actually eliminates some of the signal coming in. 